Briggs is on the program today. We're set to go. All set and racing away from the 800 meter marker. King of Kildare was the early leader, bounced away really well, is up there with Ready, Set, Fire, Chieftain just off the leading line, Tan Tamar. Danton from Santon racing behind that along the inside of the track. We've got final try. Towards the outside is Blue Velvet and Montana Lights. They race about three lengths off the leader. They come down to the last 400 meters on the outside of the track. It's Ready, Set, Fire that picks up the lead here with King of Kildare. Final try between runners. Tantamar is running a big race too. Further back in the field towards the outside is Blue Velvet. Montana Lights is lost at the moment. 100 meters left to go. Danton from Santon, King of Kildare to fight it out with Ready, Set, Fire on the outside. But King of Kildare is coming home best. King of Kildare won it tight for second. Danton from Santon, Ready, Set, Fire. And then came Chieftain. Behind that was Blue Velvet, final try, and Montana Lights. So let's have another look at the head-on replay. Number four, King of Kildare, cost 600,000 Rand, was bought at the National Yearling Sales uh, this year, earlier on in 2023. Muzzy Yanni, been a bit quiet for Muzzy in the last 10 days or so, but great for him to have had a winner early on to start off the day. And Roy Magnus, the winning trainer, and well done to Beaumont Stud, the winning breeders. He's a son of Pathfork on his debut today out of the JPEG mare, Neela and King of Kildare has proven best in this first race of the day. Second will go the way of number five, Ready, Set, Fire. Third was number two, Danton from Santon. And the fourth position will go the way of number one, Chieftain. The result of the first race. Well, yes, Muzi Yeni starts off our New Year's race meeting. Well, our old year's <laughs> New Year's race meeting going in. Yeah, that was great, Muz. Yes, that was lovely. Uh, I've got to say, when I stood out in the parade ring, I stood out like a sore thumb. There was a lot of uh, pricey babies around him, and uh, he also stood up. He looked like a looker, and uh, I've got to say, I got a lot of confidence from the stable that he ran a massive race. I went on Tuesday, I worked him on the sand, and he didn't give a lot away, so it was hard to be very bullish, but... Uh, on looks here, you had to like him, and uh, I just want to say to you, he went down very green, and he came back. He came back uh, like a like a star. He did very much, so, and he seems like this is this is the beginning of quite a bright future, I would imagine. Definitely, uh, I think a good blood lines. You can see the prize money they spent on some of the babies. So for him to pull it off, it was a win full of merit. He gets along very well on the grass track, which I haven't felt him. But if you even watch the replays, action just. He really helps him get across the track very well. So I think we've got a really bright future. Lovely, Muzi. Anybody you want to thank? Yes, uh, Mr. Finlayson. We won't make it possible. He was a pricey individual at the sales. And uh, a yard can't do it without the quality horses. So thanks to Mr. Finlayson. I hope he enjoyed the win at home. And his puppy was sick, his doggy. So, uh, so I hope he gets better Sorry soon. Sorry about that. And obviously to Mr. Magna, well prepared. And Casey, a big thank you to the whole team. We've got an old year's Eve party we've got to pay for. Anything <laughs> you can help us with? Uh, I didn't think I had the strongest of hand. Uh, uh, what do you call the baby in the next? I expect in the first three, especially after this one ran so well. She also shows us quite some decent work at home. Uh, but uh, more first three chances, uh, it's hard to, I don't have a standout. Thank you, Muzi. Everything of the best. Yes, Mr. Magna, welcome, sir. It's lovely to have you in the parade ring with us and in the winner's enclosure. It's nice and to be in the winner's enclosure. Always, is always. Always. You've been in the winner's <laughs> enclosure for 50 years now. <laughs> no, look, a lovely path for cult. Well done to John Finlayson. He put his hand in his pocket. He wasn't cheap. Um, but he's precocious, a smart horse. I think he, uh, he's going to go places, this boy. I'd say a little green on the way to the gate, but perhaps you expected that? Not really, you know. I, I agree. We're, on the way to the gate, I was worried. I thought, gee, he looks very green. But uh, he wasn't green when the pens opened. Uh, no, 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 he's a smart little horse. Lovely stuff, Mr. Magna. Tell me, sir, later on today, uh, one or two that we can make pay attention to? Yeah, we've got a baby in the next. Who's, uh, she's also quite precocious, but uh, you know you'd never know first day at school. Benika, she should run well today. Roll with the punches, first run today with blinkers. Uh, let's hope it changes his mind. Get that speed back in the beginning. Huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Kotinos in the last. He won his last yeah. start. He's well drawn. Hoping for another good run from him too. That'd be a great day. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much to Roy Magna with us today. Thank you, everybody. That's the first uh, here at Turfentine that's come and gone. We look forward, of course, to the start of the bipod.